this island, and that's what makes it so special, correct? It's, I mean, it, it's a special place for a lot of reasons. Today we're going to talk about history. We're enjoying the reenactment here at uh, historical Washington Golf Club, and we're re rewinding here a couple hundred years. Um, I'm with the original Nordic Sponge Company, going back only, call it 150 years to 1887, and I'm uh, kind of pleased here to meet Evan, who is part of the reenactment today. It's going to be super exciting, and um, he knows well, a little more about the history, so I'll let you say a word or two about history. I, I'm sorry, but I see our guys like running. Oh, do you? So okay, oh, guys. Right. Right. Yeah, sorry, guys. Okay, we'll try to keep it going. But <laughs> yeah, so, right. so rewind 200 years ago, and uh, how do you feel the, the about battle. those uh, Indians? Helping out the British and the Americans and everything that went on here. Yeah, I mean, the British yeah, took, I mean, uh, right at the War of 1812, the British took, as we all know, took Macaron right away on uh, July 6th and 7th of, uh, of uh, 1812, right? Mm -hmm. And they occupied the, um, the island and the fort until 1815. Um, and 200 years ago, so in uh, 1814, the Americans wanted to take back the island and they stormed over, I believe, with 750 people and seven uh, warships. And try to take over basically this very spot at Washington Bowl. And um, they were pushed back and they were defeated. And um, so the British maintained um, this area until um, the peace treaty in 1815. So, but I'm with Murdoch's Fudge. We're, you know, we're celebrating our 127th year. So we're the original Murdoch's Fudge before. Company of yes. Mackinac Island. Yeah, so. I wonder if any of those soldiers ever had fudge. You know, that would have been 60 years prior to, uh, to now. In fact, so, they probably uh, yeah. invented it. So, it. It wasn't invented yet. It wasn't invented yet until Mr. Murdoch uh, came to the Mackinac right. in 1887, which is when uh, the Grand Hotel First. opened. And the Grand, uh, Mr. Murdoch came here because the awnings is a, a professional sail maker. And uh, so he came to the island to work on the canvases, work on the awnings, and his wife, Sarah, uh, brought her original recipes of making fudge. She started a little kitchenette downtown. There's more a lunch spot, but she also made fudge in the back room. So if it wasn't for maybe the Grand Hotel opening in 1887 and needing Mr. Murdoch's uh, uh, sail-making skills, we may, fudge may not be the phenomenon that it is today on Mackinac Island. But today we're here to celebrate the history, the wonderful history here and the natural beauty. So I'm um, happy to be a part of it. Thank you.